Hey guys, One Piece Nixon here today with my review of Boruto Chapter 11. Now I'd like to start off by saying this felt like classic part 1. So if you like part 1, you're probably going to enjoy this chapter. So we start off, we're chasing some bandits. Or some, well, not some bandits, some rogue ninjas who are called the Mijin Ninjas, I believe. And they stole from the Konoha Bank. They are former Leaf Ninja. You can see designated, of course, of a cross mark on their ninja headband. But, uh, they're really cool. I mean, they're cool. I mean, the fight thing with them in the Konoha 12, in the, in the Konoha 12, Team 7 is great. But why don't we first talk about the Sasuke thing. So, we do get information this close that Boruto did reveal to Sasuke what happened in, the, in Chapter 10. And apparently Sasuke saw everything that happened between him and Momoshiki. He saw all that. He saw all that with his eyes. Or whoever that was. I think, I think it was Momochiki who gave him that, right? But yeah. No, but he, uh, he saw all that. With his Renegon. And, uh, so he knows about Boruto's curse mark. And Sasuke is amazing. And then he flat out like, Kid, I don't want to scare you. But you are not normal. What's happening? Your body is weird. Like, you're not normal, kid. You are a freak. <laughs> no, but that was pretty cool. I I'm curious if Naruto is aware of this, and Naruto and Inata are aware of this, or if I would assume at least he probably told him Sakura that she is a medic, and she probably could help him figure this out. Because Sasuke is many things. He's not a doctor. Like, he, 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 I, I don't think Sasuke knows much about the human body. He knows something, but like, I honestly feel like they're kind of, if he hasn't, like, the fact that he's not telling other people the waste, I mean, he, like, he's married to Sakura. I mean, seriously, something strange is happening to the Hokage son. You're married to a medical ninja dude. Like, is there something wrong with the, like, it's not, it's, or does Sake just, is Sake that concerned that he wants to keep it to himself and not inform Naruto or Naruto, Hinata or Sakura? Even though Naruto and Yasuo are both parents, they should really know this. And Sakura could probably help it tremendously as she is a medic, but wh whatever. And yeah, it kind of bothered me that Sakura keep me into himself. But whatever, on the fight scene. The fight scene is great. Miki takes one out. Serata. Alright, listen. The outfit is not okay. I mean, I, for one, am enjoying her as a... I mean, she's... Okay, one thing I will say is, even if they're making her a... Over sexualized. No, that is true. She is over sexualized. It is a problem. I don't like it. I also don't like that he says he's wearing those ridiculously high heels. It it it, it just doesn't add up legit. It's like it's like I understand like a joke. Like I know dude. I and some people I've seen people complain about it in comments. People have also, but you also, I have seen people say, but Zunati and Sakura do it. And I'm like, yes, and Zunati and Sakura are Joni. Zunati and Sakura are like, are each, have, have like years of experience, have been fighting since they were 12, and are each like, Sakura is like 40, Zunati is like 80. I mean, like, they're really strong and they're fully grown women. It's not weird. But I mean, with Zerata, it's like, one, I don't know how, to, how she can fight in those. Because you, unlike with Sakura and Zerata, you can't say she's experienced or skilled enough. Zerata's a Jenny. I, I, don't get me any, she has DNA bullcrap. There's no way she, her Tai Jitsu is good enough that she can fight while wearing this outfit. I mean, it, just, it looks like something you would see a girl, mind you, a 20, you would see like a 19, 20, 25 year old girl where it's like a club. Not when she's going out to fight evil ninjas who want to kill her. Especially considering she uses Tai Jitsu. I mean, it's weird. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, she's a 12 to 13 year old girl. It, can, it annoyed me. The one thing I always thought was great about Naruto was that Kishimoto would know. Like, say what you want about the way Kishimoto handled Sakura's character. I ask you to name one scene where you saw Sakura basically naked one time that wasn't comedic relief or that and like I'm not talking like a bad scene where she was like completely covered like where they actually showed something I, I, I ask you to name one 
thing like that, like something like those bad things from one pe from one place in place. Name one. You can't. That was one thing. I I think that's one thing everybody in Naruto fandom agrees on. Like Chichi agreed to that. Like Yaruto did not have fan service, and it it was really nice. I mean, sometimes you would get a shot that was like you'd be like, oh, it's an ass shot or that fan service, but you would never. There were never times where characters were like made to look worse than they actually are, or screen time was taken up to give us these things, and I'm very worried because he's not really used to taking up screen time, but he's definitely over sexualizing his character. Which is, like, one thing, like, like, one thing you can, you gotta say about his, about his, about his, about his, about the heroine of Naruto. Sangro was not over sexualized, which was really nice. Because, it's nice because the other, because Naruto, that was the, I mean, I, I have a problem. I have a video I plan on doing on why Nami tits are too big. And then see my problem could be over that till they shit in one piece. I don't know if I want to do a video on that. I'm probably going to record that tomorrow. But that bothered me. It really bothered me. But I spent enough time on Serata and how over he is. Uh, the, by the way, the line she said that I wanted to meet the boss. Um, I don't, I'm not going to judge the character for that. Because I don't think that's the official translation. I don't think that's correct. I've heard a couple people say it was something she say that she may have been meant meaning type of a she may have been saying my like like if all like me or something like that. Like she didn't she like, she easily could have I'm saying she easily could have meant if all like fighting me or something. She definitely is overconfident. But back to her fight, um I say I think what's great about her on a fight is that it's a tremendous combination. I'm spending a lot of time on each into the on Boruto and Serata in this. Yeah, I have a lot to say on them. So yeah, I'm gonna be thinking a lot of this is gonna be a long review. But I feel like the great thing about Doc Serata's fight is that there, uh, when I saw of saw her fighting, two things came to my mind. Sasuke versus the Demon Brothers. In case you don't know, the Demon Brothers are the guys that uh Sasuke protected Naruto and Sakura from. When, uh, you know, in part one, when they were on their way to the end of the waves. Yeah, that's them. The guy that he, he, the guy that he demolished. It reminded me of his fight with them and his fighting style in part one. And it also reminded me vaguely of Sakura fight with Sasori with the way throughout with her, a little bit with a couple of her attacks. But it was definitely a great blend and reminded me of both of, of her parents, which I felt like great. I feel like we're going to be focusing on Boruto and Serata in this. One thing that we need to remind ourselves is they are the children of the previous main three characters, MCs, and I feel like that was a great homage to that. Now, <coughs> another thing. When so Serato beating the guy up, he, she, she kicking the guy that, he comes out with a poison kunai, and Serato, she does need to be staged, but I don't view this as a like, I'm worth saying, oh my god, they need to be staged just like soccer. I'm not viewing it as that. I'm viewing it as just a sign of just dirt, like a teamwork thing. Like, Serato was being overconfident. She was. She, she, was, she didn't get caught off. She's not like a second soccer. No. Like, Serato got caught off guard because she was overconfident. She actually, like, because she was overconfident and cocky. Burroughs were even said, like, you should not need me to save you. Like, this is not normal. But the Boruto comes in. Boruto's Rasengan, I will mention, is bigger. It's a lot bigger this time around. Um, he takes them out. And that's about it for the mission. We get to see Kamamaru. Kurma Hogwarts is ugly as shit in the panel where he first showed up. I mean, I'm sorry. But Kamamaru, my god, you are ugly. Like, kill me. Like, what that like, ugly, ugly, ugly Kurmahamaru, my god. But, um, no, but, uh, we see that, um, we cut to, to them, they're get, we got, we got, we got, we cut to a bit with a feudal lord and his son, or Badaimao. Now, in case for those who don't remember, Badaimao is the one that pissed the Hokage, if the Hokage is unable to pick a successor, and I'm going to pick with the last time now, we pissed the Hokage to Kakashi and Danzo. Luckily, that asshole is dead. I never did like that guy. I thought he sounded like an asshole in the anime. I thought he looked like an asshole. I thought he acted like an asshole. I hated that guy. Like, every time he was on screen, I was just like, can we kill him? 
Like, like, I'm like, when my, like, when my, I'm kind of like, can Madara kill the feudal lord with the line of fire? Like, I wouldn't care. Like, no, no fan would care. But, uh, no, but we see the feudal lord in his son. Forgot their names already because it's like, I, I remember their name, but the feudal lord's son, I'll remember it eventually. The feudal lord's son is getting a card. They're called Super Ninja cards, I believe. And they're based on, and they're, <laughs> based on the scenes of super famous ninjas in history. Uh, Boruto gets the Batemito Kage, Naruto the Maki, which is a super, super rare card, which is like, I would want it, and, um, what happened is he complained about it, and he said there's a certain card he wants. I'm assuming it's Sasuke card, I'm assuming, because you know he thinks Sasuke is cooler. Serato, of course, comments that he thinks the game is stupid. And somehow relate that to her thinking boys are stupid. Serotic weird in that regard. Like, if, if Boruto does something she doesn't like, she blames it on, his, on, on, every, on every single male. I don't understand it. But, uh, no. Michi, Michi comments that he doesn't play the game, but he knows it's a big thing now. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. Uh, we cut to find out about a ninja who is apparently the top guy of a bingo book. I once again forgot his name, but you guys know who I'm talking about. But the ninja in the bingo book, comment his name down below, but he apparently had the ability to copy memories, appearance, voices, and all this stuff of the people he killed. I'm interested in that. Want to know where that goes? Probably going to play into the future um, arc. I actually, I actually have a theory that that guy, that guy in the bingo book, is the feudal lord's kid. By the way, uh, the feudal lord's kid, I don't like him, but I'll get to that later. But, um, no, but, uh, what else was there? Okay, Kenshu, I believe his name is, or Kenshu Key, or whatever. But scientist guy from the, from the Boruto movie. You know the guy that made the ninja to a weapon? Apparently he was under mind control. So, yeah, that's the thing. And, uh... And so Naruto's looking into that, so Naruto's in a conflict with the feudal lord, and what happens is relatively simple, which is that Boruto, of course, meets the feudal lord kid. The feudal lord kid is a brat. Boruto does not want to guard him. The, the, the line that made me knew I would get to hate this kid was, this is what cheap tea tastes like. Interesting. I want to, I want you to show me your lower lifestyle. I'm like, even if Boruto, like, I would have smacked the crap out of this kid. Also, I want to bring up a problem I have with the manga screen translation. Um, the language. I, I don't remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't remember the manga screen. It's been years since I read a manga screen Naruto chapter. I have. I read them. I have most of the volume. But, um. Yeah, and I read most of the official releases and other websites, but... Did, 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 did Naruto drop... Did Naruto say fuck a lot? Like, is, is, is that like a new thing? In, in Boruto? Or, or, or the word fuck all over the Naruto manga too? On manga stream. I don't know. But Boruto said fuck. At least 30 times. And it's disturbing. Because I don't mind cursing. I, I just said... Yeah, I have to fuck like that. I, I don't care. But, it's a problem. Boruto, because, you know what? It just, I feel it just breaks the moment for me. Not that I have a problem with cursing. I don't. I curse. I say, I say the damn word and it bothered me. Because, I, I look at him and I'm just like, that didn't need to be there. It's like he said, aw, oh, damn it. I think there's actually a point where he said, aw, oh, damn it, fuck. It's like, why the F word need to be there? But that's more of a gripe on the translation part. But, um, Boruto complains about the kid. Um, he said he's not gonna like the kid. And the kid turned around to do the Lord Kid and it's like, Nice to meet you, Boruto the Maki. Honestly, if I had to rate this chapter, you know, I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. Um, mostly because, one, some of the Serata stuff, if that translation is right, that's a problem. Like, Serata, like, no, like, you know, I'm gonna do an entire video, actually, on sexualization in Naruto and sexualization in One Piece. A new video on those, because I need to get my opinion down on that. But again, yeah, the Serata thing took it down a couple notches. 
And honestly, what I do like about the chapter the most, though, it, it felt very, it felt like what they said it was going to be. Very classic, original Naruto Part 1. It just, I read this, and I feel like I was, and honestly, I got that feeling of reading Naruto, but not that feeling I got when reading The War. This is the kind of feeling I get when I go back and rewatch the Part 1 stuff. And it's really nice, and they captured that feeling really well. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Um, I will be doing a, one or two Boruto discussions over the course of the next month. I have a theory video I plan on doing on my Fear Lord Kid, and yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe for more videos. I will be covering all the Boruto chapters for the foreseeable future. And above all, guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Peace.